Hello everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Tanvi Arora, working here as a functional consultant. So in today's video, we are going to see the integration with Fusion in Oracle ARCS. So we will go to our application. So this is the home page of my application. From the navigator tab, I will go to data management. So I will go to setup tab first and define my source system. So I will click on add and the source system from where I will get data is uh, DDX. It's a project in the Fusion application. So I'm going to provide its name here and file uh, source system type I will choose as Oracle ERP Cloud. Now, once this is done, I have to click on configure source connection to configure a connection from the Fusion application. So I'm going to provide for the uh, username, password and URL here. So as you can see, I have provided the details here. I am going to configure this. It is showing so system DDX configuration has been updated successfully. So I will click on OK. And the next step is to initialize it. So it will initialize my process. Now it will take a lot of time. Um, like there are so many projects in the Fusion application which will get integrated here. So it's a long process. So I have to go to workflow. And then in the process details, I will keep refreshing it. You can see that starting initialization of source system has been initiated. So I will keep refreshing it until the process has been completed. Now, as we can see, that the initialization of the source system has been completed. This process is completed. And these are all the projects that have been um, integrated with the, um, in the uh, that has been integrated from the Fusion application. So the next step, I will go to setup and register my target. But before I will save this. So as you can see that the DDX has been uh, showing in here. Okay, so source system is DDX and all this is fine. I'm just going to save this. Next step is to register the target application. So target application is my accounts reconciliation manager. So I will search for it and just select it. As you can see, uh, this is my target application, Accounts Reconciliation Manager. So I'm going to save this. OK, then I will uh, create an import format. So I'm going to click on Add. Provide a name for my import format. Source is my, I will search for it from here. Source is my DDX. Target application is ARM.
So this has been selected and I will just save this. So as I have provided for my source system and my target application, now here I'm going to provide for the mappings. So I'm going to uh, map account with account. Okay. Then uh, amount with amount is already mapped. Company with company. Profile with profile. Okay, so there's no profile, so I can select any project, okay, from the Fusion application. And I'm, I will not mark this source type. So I will just save this quickly. Okay. Now the next step is to create a location. So I will go to location, add a new location. Choose my import format from here. So this is um, IMF underscore three. Okay. Target application is Accounts Reconciliation Manager. So I am going uh, to change nothing here and I, I will just save this. Then um, I will go to period mapping because I know that uh, the data is in the December period in the Fusion application. So I will uh, check quickly that whether December 2021 period is here or not. So it is here, okay? And it should be there in the application mapping as well. So it's here, okay? So I will cancel this. And then I will go to workflow. Here, I'm going to provide for data load mapping. So I will define my correct POV first. This is my location. Period is December 2021. I will select this and click on OK. Category is functional. I will just save this. So as you can see that the source is DDX and the target is Accounts Reconciliation Manager. Fine. So I'm going to provide for like mapping here. So I will map each and every dimension of the source uh, system with the target application. So first one is account. I will click on add, provide for star to star mapping. Rule name I can give any. Save this. Next I will map company, add star, to star, save. Third one is data, click on add, star, to star, A3. Then the profile, Start to star, A4. And the last one is source type. Star. Here I'm going to provide for source system. I will write source system because I want to import data in my source system. Okay. So I will save this. So once this is done, I will go to data load rule and provide a name for my data load rule. I can see that the POV is correctly defined. 
So the name is categories function. Okay. Uh, then here, I am not going to change any settings here. As you can see that, like uh, the departmental values have, uh, all the descendants have been included here. Uh, it, it is all departmental values, all company values, all project values, all accounts values. So I'm not going to change anything here. Okay. So I will just click on save. Then after saving this, I will execute this rule. I'm going to import from source so that all the data gets imported into my target application. And this is for the period of December. So I'm going to run it. Now I will refresh it until I get a check mark here. So the import has been completed. Uh, let's save this and go to data load workbench. So as you can see that the data has been imported and validated. Okay. Now this is the data that is coming from my fusion application, but I have to make certain changes in this, in the staging tables. As I can see here that prof uh, there is nothing written in the profile. Okay. And uh, this is my account. This is my company. So in profile, uh, like in my accounts uh, reconciliation compliance module, the profile is uh, comprised of two things. Like, uh, for example, there are two profile segments. That is the company and the account. So my company name is uh, 1000 and my account uh, is 11015. So I have to provide for a concatenated string here. Then the data will be exported to the target application. Okay. And these are the amounts. So I'm going to um, provide for a script. I will go to data load mapping. Okay, my POV is correct. Click on like. And in the profile, here I will provide for a script. So this is the script that I have provided in the profile because I want a concatenated string. So UD3 uh, dash UD2. Okay. So I will just click on OK. And save this. Then I will again execute this data load rule. Or I can uh, make a new data load rule. Okay, and save this first. And then execute this. So the process has been completed.
Now we will uh, see the results in the data load workbench. So as you can see that uh, the company and the account IDs have been concatenated and uh, these figures are here. So uh, for the export, we will go to our application. So for export, I will click on application and then I will go to periods. The period is December, so I'm going to click on action, okay, and then import data. From here, I'm going to click on add, provide a name, Okay. the period is December and uh, like I want BDX only so and uh, this is my location so I will select this only and untick all the other uh, boxes I will click on OK. And then I have to keep on refreshing it until the process has been complete. First process is complete. It's taking time. Yeah. So now the process has been completed. Okay. So we can see the results in our profiles. So these are my profiles. And as you can see that the balances have been imported here. Okay. We can uh, check the profiles as well. This is a thousand dash one one zero one five. I will open the data management. And you can just tally. Okay. So the balances have been imported. And this is the complete process of the fusion integration into ARCS application. Thank you so much.